um, playlist is in. If you want to use it, awesome. If you don't, you know what? You're missing out on a good one. All right, I'm just going to say it uh, and not spray it. Um, so we have not started the playlist yet. You will want some support underneath your knees. So Mary, if you want to grab like a quick like bath towel or something, you'll probably want it would be my assumption. And then we're going to, we're going to do a little, before we get the music started, we're just going to do a little centering. So I am wearing shoes. You absolutely do not have to wear shoes. It might just be nice for some of the impactful stuff. I'll always modify anything that both feet need the floor or plyometric. So let's take a deep breath in through the nose, reach up the arms, pull the navel in, exhale the arms down. We'll just do that two more times to kind of get our mind, our body right, reach the arms up, feel anything, maybe move out of anything that feels like it isn't serving you and exhale the arms back down. Maybe add a little shoulder roll, a little chin tuck. Last one, inhale the arms up, exhale the arms back down. 45 minutes, put your hands together, give yourself a little golf clap five blocks of work. We're going to start with our cardio. Let's all start our playlists together in three seconds. Two, one, hit it. Once you hit your playlist, we're going to come back to our space to warm up. Why is this timer not working? There it is. My timer was being kind of a jerk. What a jerk. All right. So we're going to start with a march, march, and a squat. Here we go. It's march, 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 squat, return. March, 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 squat, return. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Stay low. Reach the right leg up. Reach the left leg up. Reach the right leg up. Try to stay low so we're working in that outer hip. Let's do two more per side. So right side, left side, last one to the right, last one to the left. Good, from here, roll the shoulders back. I want you to bring your feet just a little bit wider apart. Twist and open, twist, open. Inhale down, exhale up. Oh yeah, I did it. I had to play some oldies but goodies for me. Last one towards that right corner, and we're gonna switch over to the left. Drop and reach, inhale. Good, really get into it, twist the whole body. You got two more of these. Nice, one more, good. If you're not jumping, that's okay. We're gonna do two jacks, then squat pulse. Two jacks, squat pulse. If you want to make the jacks low impact, it's one, two, squat, squat, one, two, squat, feet narrow, reach, reach, squat, two more, two jacks, two squat pulses, last one, two squat pulses. Okay, so we're going to come on down to our mat on our hands and knees, push up and push yourself off, push yourself off. So it's a lot of upper body explosion, but it isn't necessarily super challenging. Sit your hips back, bend your elbows out and back, rise up. Exhale away from the mat, two more. Last one, I want you to meet me in downward dog. So hands forward, shift up and back, pedal out the feet, or warm up. Got about a minute left. Then from here, I want you to shift to plank. Right knee, right tricep. Come back. Shift to plank. Left knee, left tricep. Let's go a little faster. Shift. Return. Shift. Two more. Other side. Last one. Back to the left. Come back to the mat. Good. Rise up off the hands. Reach behind you. Return, reach behind you on the other side. Find a little back bend here. Good, three, two, last one right, last one left. Then from here, slide the legs forward, land on your seat. Hands behind the knees, lift the chest. Flex your feet, keep the heels on the floor. Round your spine, 
reach up, return, and rise. You got two more, we got time for two more around the spine, reach up and rise. Last one here, round your spine, scoop your belly, squeeze your seat, rise. Good. Sure, you felt a little activation in the abs. If you didn't, it's okay. We're all different. Let's go ahead and get it really started. So the first thing you need is just yourself. I have a mat underneath me in case I need some impact absorption. Otherwise, we're gonna get it started, yes? Timer starts in five seconds. We're gonna start with a traveling move. So stand behind your mat, two elbow strikes forward, shuffle, 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 two elbow strikes at the top, shuffle it back, okay? Go with me in three, two, and one, let's go. Elbow, elbow, shuffle. Elbow, elbow, shuffle it back. Yep. Yeah. Elbow. It doesn't matter which elbow you lead with. If you remember to alternate them, great. If you don't, it's not a big deal. So this time I would start with the right. Get that elbow up and over the shoulders and right. Then I do it again. I'll do the left side first, maybe, right? Good. Travel it forward. You're almost there. You got eight seconds. Almost there. Finish it here. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Front lunge, open twist. Just on the right. So if I show this to you from the side, I'm twisting over the thigh of the moving leg. For me, that's my right. I get off that left heel. I see behind the torso. You got it. Reach those arms far behind you. We're doing a ton of twisting today. It's really good for the body. Also feels really nice on the spine. See over that shoulder of the right. Good. In just a moment, we're going to switch it to the other side. That'll be exercise number three out of four. And of course, we'll go through these two times. Three, two, switch your legs. So showing it to you from the front. Whoop, lost my balance, right? First one's always maybe a little bit rusty. So this is me trying not to get dizzy. I'm not looking at the back wall. I'm looking at the head. That way I'm still getting the work, but again, I'm not getting dizzy. So this is me facing profile. You can see yourself. See that shoulder. Open it up towards that left side. Take a big enough step so that the knee doesn't end up in front of the toes of your left. Team, one more thing to do. This is four. Three, two, you're gonna give me four soccer kicks. One, two, three, four. Stay put, I just forgot. Two cross reaches. One, two, there we go. One, two, three, four. Cross reach right, cross reach left. Reach, reach. You could do it low impact, which is this. Four of those and then twist, twist, or high impact. One, two, three, four, twist, twist. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice. Eight seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one, done. All right. So most of this cardio is not necessarily difficult or tough. It's just you have to think about a lot of it. So I like those types of challenges because I still get a lot of work out of it. But man, I can feel my heart rate's up and that's the goal. We're trying to break a sweat in this first block at least, yes? So team, we're gonna start at the back of the mat. This is the elbow strike. Shuffle forward, elbow strike, shuffle back. Three, two, and one, let's go. Left, right, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Left, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Boom, boom, shuffle. Maybe you're right on the beat. Push, push, shuffle. So your body's rotating. Good. So on that shuffle back, if it's too much, just walk it forward. Boom, boom. Get that elbow across your torso. There's no wrong way to move as long as it's feeling good. So listen to yourself. If you need to slow it down or if you need to pick it up, you do that. You got five more seconds. You won't do it again today. Three, two, one. Awesome. 
left leg. So I'm gonna take that left leg forward, twist. So as I take that twist, my leg moves simultaneously. That's what makes this effort hard. And we'll see this type of movement throughout today's work. So don't be surprised when you're like, oh, we already did this open twist nonsense. Yep, I know. I planned it that way. Whew. Nice. Pick up your foot. I just caught myself getting lazy, so I really have to pick my foot up so I don't land on my mat the way pulling my mat out from underneath my feet. Switch your legs. So maybe the first rep is a little awkward, and then you get a little bigger. You get a little more snazzy into that meat of the work. So you got about 25 more seconds. Really try to twist that chest open. Right? Big front lunge, taking a large step, most of the way to that standing toe, my left toe. You've got eight seconds. Last challenge is gonna be that four soccer kicks with two cross reach. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Push it, push it. One, two, three, four. Push it, push it. I'm trying to alternate my push, but I find my body is like, I don't want to start on my left. So it's just one of those things where you got to start paying attention to habits. So making my left start that time. Awesome. And I made it start again. And then now my right. Twist. See behind you, you got nine more seconds. Remember the low impact versions here. Good. Three, two, and that's the end of block one. So the good news is we don't revisit those things. They're over. They're in the past. All right. Sip some water. Shake it off. You're doing great. So in this next effort, you're going to need both of your dumbbells. I have my dumbbells off to the side here. You're in rest right now. I'm just going to show you what you're doing so that you have an idea of what to prepare for. Your first action, you'll just need this single dumbbell. Ooh, catching my breath here. Oh, yes. Okay, so this one, you still got 18 seconds. You're going to pivot, rack, and press. Pivot off that thigh, rack to the shoulder head of the right, overhead press. Okay? Then we'll do the other side. All right, are we ready? Wait in the right hand to start, feet wide apart. Three, two, one. Here we go. Pivot, cross, rack, and press. Pivot, cross, rack, and press. Pivot, cross, rack, press. Inhale across, exhale overhead. Squeeze your butt cheek on your right. Hey, Boomer. The cat's got their teeth brushed today at the vet. So they really hate me right now. It's hilarious. They're like mm, getting the side eye since I got back with them at like 11. So in a moment, we're going to switch our sides. That's all you got to do is you switch the sides in three, two, one. Switch to the left. Left rotation, left rack, left overhead press. Rotation, rack. Press. So for me, having my right arm out to the side is very helpful for my counterbalance, and it helps me keep my shoulder packed on the left. Not really sure why, but it just does. I think it just keeps me in mind of my upper body packedness, really keeping things towards the midline. Good, we've got eight more seconds. We're going to pick up our second dumbbell in about four seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Pick up your second dumbbell. We're going to start standing with our feet about hip width apart. Your palms face you. You're going to give me a prone curl. Then as you hinge, you're going to pull wide. Bring it back in. 
prone curl. That means my palms face forward here. I hinge and I do a wide pull. Prone curl, exhale, squeeze everything in. Inhale, hinge. Watch for throw. Exhale, pull. Right? Hinge, back is flat. Nice wide grip. Prone curl. Prone curls are harder than regular curls. It's not as much muscle. Good, you're almost there. Three, two, and one. Good, you're gonna keep that second dumbbell. Find first position. So my heels are off the floor, and I'm gonna bring my weights right in front of my chest. I'm gonna pulse my weights up and lift my heels at the same time. Pulse, lift, pulse, lift, pulse, lift. My weights are not resting on my chest. Squeeze. So I'm feeling biceps, but I'm feeling calves as well. So my heels are off the ground. My weights don't lift that high. I'd say they go above my eyebrows. Yeah, keep my palms together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, drop off your weights. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. Otherwise, we're gonna get started yet again. Only this time we'll start with the left arm first so that the left arm gets to go first, okay? Otherwise, we, we always start on the right. It's kind of bad, ha a bad habit to like keep going right side only first time. Um, and vice versa, if you're left-handed and you're better with your left, switching to the right, okay? So you're gonna pick up your dumbbell, left arm, three, two, one, I know it's been 30 seconds. Twist, rack, press, repeat. Twist, rack, press. Twist, rack it to the shoulder, overhead press. My overhead press, I know I come out of the frame there, but I am pressing with my palm facing forward and it's a nice wide grip. Yep, reach, rack, press. You got 15 more seconds. See behind your hip, press over your head. Whew. Looking good, team. Just a few more seconds on side number one. Set two, three, two, one. Switch your arms. We go right over to the right. Press, pivot, rack in the middle. Good. Rib cage in. Use that breath. Yeah, so use that inhalation to find the twist and the exhalation to rack and press. Yeah. Nice tall frame. Little soft bend in the knees. Just a few more seconds. Next up, we're gonna grab that second dumbbell. Hinge, wide grip row, prone curl. Good, let's pick it up. Awesome, here we go. Hinge, wide grip, prone curl. Nice and slow. Hinge, wide grip, so from the side. I'm not pulling my neck, I'm squeezing my seat, I'm pulling those weights right to my collarbones. Hinge, wide grip, prone curl. Use that weight energy, right? To pull those dumbbells up with you as your hips swing forward. So a little momentum here. Good. Five, four, let's finish the rep out. Three, two, and one. Put the weights together right in front of the heart. Soles of the feet, heels together, lift off the ground, pulse, pulse, lift, pulse. So if you struggle with balance, this alone can be really challenging to find the balance work. Be careful you're not doing a shoulder shrug, showing you from the side. Keep those heels connected. So see if you can keep them really wide apart with the toes, lift. Lift, 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 lift. 10 seconds. My shoulders are on fire. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it, you won't see that again. Okay, so in your next set of movement, all you need is your mat. So if you have your mat, you're good to go. You can just put your weights to the side. We will use the weights again in the second strength block, which is block number four. But right now we're just gonna focus on 
striking the set and having our mat ready to go. You're in recovery right now, so a sip of water might be really nice. Stretch anything that feels like it needs a little bit of a TLC moment. You can take that a number of ways, right? Okay, so next up, we're gonna be in a half kneel position. We're gonna be on the left knee, okay? We're still in recovery, I'm just gonna show you what's up. You're on the right foot, hands come behind the head, you're gonna lean away from that foot and then reach for the foot, okay? We'll do that on side one, then of course we'll switch, we'll do side two, then we'll be on our hips, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. It's inhale to the side, exhale, reach for that outer thigh or the calf. Inhale and exhale. So if you wanted to make this a little bit harder on the inhale, reach the arm out, on the exhale, reach the arm across. So the arms are always kind of alternating on the reaches. Ooh, so from the side, just so you can see me moving, I'm in one line. I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach away from my torso. How slow can you go as opposed to how fast? Five, four, Three, squeeze that left glute, two and one, switch your sides. So, still showing this to you from the side, you can't see my foot, right? That's a point. I'm gonna reach away from me, and then I'm gonna reach towards that thigh. And maybe the first one is pretty small, and that's totally normal, right? The body's getting used to this side bending activity. You're getting used to that balance factor. Now in set two, I'll show you a, a progression that you could start to apply. But right now, let's just work on the basics here. I'm reaching my arm away from my leg. I'm reaching my arm towards my leg. And I'm not rotating my torso. Four, three, two, come on down to your glutes. Okay, so this is gonna be your half rollback. We did part of this in the warm up, only we didn't do this section. So I'm gonna half roll back, reach the left arm, Reach the right arm, rise up. Half roll back. Reach the right arm. Reach the left arm and return. You could make this harder by rolling it back, lifting the arms up, reaching open, return, reaching open, return, and then place the hands behind the thighs to rise. So spine is rounded here and spine is flat here. So I'm sticking my chest out. Three, two, come on down to all fours. Oh, I'm lying to you. Come on down to your back. Legs up in the air, hands brace the head, the head stays down. I'm gonna do a little ballerina flutter down and up. So my feet are crossing in little semicircles as far down as I can get without letting my low back leave the mat. So if my low back is off the mat, that's my stopping point. If you wanted to make this harder, you could lift your head, neck, and shoulders and continue the work. So sometimes this is actually a little easier if you've got a lot of sway in the low back. So if your lower back really has a strong curve, actually having the, the chest lifted might be helpful. This is three, two, and that's your rest. So those are the four things we're doing, really it's three because we're just doing second side of the first activity. But that's what's up. So on the second round, my right knee is down, my left foot is out. Don't worry, you're still in recovery. My arms could reach overhead, I could lean away here and then towards here without letting my arms return to my torso. That's a little bit harder. Timer starts in three, two, and one. Here we go, I'm gonna lean away, exhale through center and lean towards. Lean away, exhale through center and lean towards. So you can see this from the side again, I think that's very helpful. Knee and toes in alignment, arms reach up, I lean away from it. I lean towards it without rotating. The whole foot of my left foot is on the floor. So I know it's a little uh, off of the camera lens, but you wanna focus on pushing to the outer edge of that left foot. Three, two, and one. Switch your sides. 
So showing this to you head on, my whole right foot's on the floor. My hips are driven forward. I'm gonna lean away from that. I'm gonna lean towards that. So it's a crunch through the side line of the body. Inhale to the side, woo! Exhale, you'll know right away, did I go too far? Because you start to get light in this foot. So try to keep that foot really cemented into the ground. And notice if you're rotating as you reach towards that extended leg. So if you wanna to reach towards it, try not to, try to keep it in lateral flexion. You've got eight seconds. Good, shoulders are back and down. If you need to bring your arms a little wider, you could. Three, two, come on down to your back. All right, or onto your hips rather. I keep messing up that cue. Chest is lifted. Now this time, if I wanted to make it harder, I don't actually grab the backs of my legs. I lean back, I reach, I reach to the other side, I rise up. I lean back, I reach to the side, I reach to the side, I rise. I can always use the back of my thighs as a brace. If I feel it in the back of my neck, I want you to tuck your chin, you're looking right down between those inner thighs, really important. So roll yourself back, reach, pull, reach, pull, and rise. From head on, I'm nice and long. Reach behind me, reach behind me, rise. Come on down to your back entirely. I'll show this to you head on too, why not, right? So my head could be lifted. I'm gonna flutter kick, semi-circle down and up. So you go as far as you need to. Try not to bend your knees. So you want to keep your legs pretty straight here. If you need to bend your knees because it feels funky on the low back, please bend your knees because that's going to be helpful for you finding a little bit of range as you continue to move. We've got about 12 more seconds to go in this block, right? Core block. This is your halfway mark, or a little over your halfway. Three, two, and one. So we're three blocks done, and we've got two blocks to go. So far, so good. Sip of water if you need it. Hmm. So in block number four, you need the most equipment. So everything you brought with you to class, your mini band, your dumbbells, all of it will be needed. Okay? So you're actually going to start with your light band. If you don't have a light band, don't use something heavy. It's going to be really difficult to move. So I'm going to place that light band underneath my foot, and that's going to be my left foot. I'm going to take my right foot behind me. You're still in rest. You have about 15 seconds. I'm going to hinge and reach that leg back, rise, whoop, lost my balance, and do a little pull, okay? Timer starts in three, two, one. Load it underneath your foot. Inhale, reach that toe back. Exhale, return and give it a little pull. Just a little tiny one. Inhale down, reach that toe back. Exhale, rise. If you ever have to land that right foot, go for it. Take care of yourself. Good, exhale to pull and rise. I don't even like pink, you guys. I don't even like her. I mean, she's a cool person, but I, mean, I don't like her music. But I remembered this song and I was like, oh, right. It's her first hit and it's good. I know, I, I, I totally, this is a guilty pleasure. You got five seconds, four, three, two. Switch your foot. So now I've got that band underneath my right foot. Right foot balances, left foot comes behind the right in this figure four positioning. I'm gonna hinge and reach. Rise and do a little pull. Squeeze that butt cheek, right? That's gonna help you. Inhale to reach. Exhale, rise and pull. Maybe I'm not using a band. Okay, we'll pretend. Inhale and exhale. Show this to you from the side and realizing how beneficial that might be. Inhale, reach that toe back, point the toe. Exhale, pull. Yep, almost there. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Release the band. Come up down to a kneeling position. If you don't want to kneel, you can stand. Arms, fist position, right outside the thighs. Pull it open, come all the way medium, back to low. Medium, low, medium. Mandy, can I do this with a light set of dumbbells? Sure. 
You can also do it with like a towel and just pull the towel apart. So from the side, I have my glutes tucked, my abs pulled in, low pull apart, medium pull apart, low pull apart, medium. So my fists are staying below my chest line. Shh. Shh. We're post exhausting our back. We're doing a lot of back work today. Almost there. This is five, four, three, two, and we're finally going to use those dumbbells. So the dumbbells go behind the thighs. You don't have to do this if you don't feel safe doing it. I do, so I'm going to do this. My hands are on the floor. I lift, I pulse, I switch. I lift, I pulse, I switch. Pro tip, flex your feet. Shh. So you can really grip your weight. Grip, lift and reach, lift and reach. 15 more seconds to go. So we started this one just a hair late. That's okay. Lift. So I've got eight pounds behind my knee, pushing my heel to the ceiling for five, for four, abs in tight for three, looking right between my palms for two, and that's time. Remove the dumbbells. Know where they're located because you will need them again. We'll stand it up. Okay, so right now, great time to grab a sip of water. You got about 15 seconds. You need that mini band again. It's going to go underneath the foot we ended on, which for me would be my right foot. If it hurts to hold this because your hands, working on grip is a really important and strong effort for a lot of folks. So see if you can just muscle your way through it as best as you can. Timer starts in three, two, and one. Inhale, hinge. Reach that toe back. Exhale, rise and pull. I was trying to turn myself to see if maybe I could show you from the side. Didn't work out. Good. Inhale and pull. Ooh, forgot my upright row. Inhale and see if you can pull it a little bit higher this time. Reach and pull. Good. Inhale, point that toe back. Exhale, pull. Good. Seven more seconds on the right foot. Ooh, I'm getting wobbly. Ah! Five, four, let's finish it out. Three, two, and switch the legs. So make sure that you don't just let it snap up and hit your face. Good. And then from here, here we go. Inhale, hinge. Single leg balance. Exhale, pull and rise and give yourself that little row. Showing to you from the side again. Big inhale, reach that toe back, exhale, squeeze and pull. Good. This is not meant to be fast. Shh. Go slow. Worry about reps being well executed than trying to get more in. Almost there. This is five, four, three, two, and come on down to a kneeling position. Could you sit cross legged and short? So if on your knees just doesn't feel good, that's fine too. All right, so don't put it on your wrist, put it on your forearms, pull apart low, pull apart medium, low, medium. So say for example, I didn't have a mini band, but I have dumbbells, low, medium, low, medium. It's not the same effect, it's the same movement, but the weight's definitely different. So it's okay if you don't have it, just do your best. You could do a body weight, right? You could pretend, pull it apart, pull it open in front of your chest. Three, two, and now we come down to the mat. Last bit, you'll need those dumbbells. You don't have to have them. You can always be on the forearms too. Double pulse and return to switch. Double pulse, return to switch. Abs drawn in, so you're pulling your navel away from your mat. You got just a few more. This is 18 seconds. Really activating your hamstring by pulling your heel closer to your seat. So if I didn't have dumbbells, for example, I'd want to get the heel as close to my butt as I could get it. As close to my seat, like I'm trying to kick my own butt. Three, two, and that's the set. Okay, so the good news is you have one block left remaining today. That's it. 
That's it. So um, another piece that's also good news is all you need is your mat. So with me, because my weights are really dark, I'm going to put them off my mat so I don't accidentally step on them, trip on them. Same thing with the mini band. I'm just going to put it off to the side. Good. Sip of water if you need it. We're going to start with that mat work that I told you about, the push off with the alternated open twist. You're in recovery. I'm going to show you what it looks like and then we'll do it together. Okay, just so we know what's happening. You're still in the hands and knees. Open up right, drop down, open up left. Okay, that's the effort. I'll show it to you forward too. So it's a little explosive push up on the knees. We open up to the right, we open up to the left. Three, two, one, here we go. Bend the elbows, open up. Bend the elbows, other side. So we get a lot of work in the chest. It's not overwhelmingly strength-based. I still feel a lot of chest. And that's nice because we did a lot of back work today. So this gets the opportunity to give the back a little bit of a activated stretch. But then if you notice, we're working that back by squeezing through that twist. You got it. Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, rise to stand. You're going to pre place your hands right in front of you. Hop and reach, hop and reach, hop and reach. Mandy, I'm not hopping. Calf raise, calf raise, calf raise. Otherwise, hop, hop. So if I had a dumbbell, and maybe in the second round I'll show it to you. I would maybe press that dumbbell up, return it to my chest, up, return it to my chest, up. Okay, we've got about 12 more seconds. We come back to the down dog after this. So hips up, hands down in three, two. We did it in the warm up. So I'm going to come on down to my down dog position, feet nice and wide apart for stability. Come through plank, bring that knee in. Other knee. So my knee comes outside the tricep. Mandy, being on my hands is a little too intense. Come down to the forearms. Try it here. Shift in and switch. You're a little over halfway there. So on the hands or on the forearms. For me, I like the hands. So totally your call. So we're post exhausting this lateral flexion work, right? That oblique work we did with the side bend. It's really nice. This is three, two, and one. Last bit of work. I want you to find a really low squat. Hold it out. Good. And then from there, I'm going to take that leg, open it out, drive it back, and switch out, back. Don't hit your plants. Out, back. Out, back. Out, back, out, stay low, back, 20 more seconds, stay low, out, back. So cardio doesn't have to be impactful at all. Here's the proof, right? I feel my heart rate raising. I also, my legs are like, wait a second, when's this over? Six, five, four, three, two, done. Okay, so good news. You got like three minutes of work time left, man. That's it. So if you need that last sip of water, last bit of stretch, and then we'll do this all together one more time. So come on down to your mat. We start on all fours in four, three, two, here we go. Push up, over press, push up, twist. Reach, twist it. Lower down as low as you can. Push yourself off. Reach behind you. Open that chest group. Yeah. I mean, you could try it on your feet. I I'm not going to. Plus, it'll be a little clunky because you have to lower to the knees to lift yourself off. Nice. So I mentioned this in the first set, when we get to the next movement, which is about eight seconds, the option 
to add a band or a weight might be fun. This is three, two. So for example, I might use my single dumbbell, right? I stand up, I press, I switch. So that's, a, that's an alternative, right? That's gonna make it harder. Another alternative is maybe I put my mini band back on. Of course. And I do it with the mini band work, right? So lift and switch. And if I keep this mini band on, remember when we held that low squat and we lifted the leg? That's gonna feel like something. Just saying. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Meet me in downward facing dog. So if you say, for example, I just wanna keep going with this. I'm gonna shift the plank. Bring it in. So this left band is super light, right? And for me, it's just it's more annoying than it is beneficial. Beneficial. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go. Down dog, open to the left, and then to the right. Really working that outer thigh at the end. Really getting our legs, and also post exhausting those shoulders by holding down dog. You've got nine more seconds. Pull and pull. We're going to finish it out here. Last exercise of the day in three, two, come back to your squat position low. Open, back, open, back. Try not to land the foot, maybe. Out and back. Out. And when I say try not to land the foot, I mean between the lateral lift and the straight leg lift behind you. Out and back. Showing this to you with a little bit of an angle here. Out. And then the other side. Out and back. 15 more seconds. Get a little bit lower if you can. Wiggle those toes. Open, push. This one's tough. Five, four, three, two, and one. You're done. 115 on the button. We're gonna stretch for a couple of minutes. If you can't say, I totally get it. Um, otherwise, that was it. That's the work, the work is done. But we're gonna spend a little time stretching if you've got time. So since we worked those outer thighs, we're gonna stretch those first. We're gonna take that right leg across the left. Then I want you to stick that left hip out. And that might feel good alone. And then take the right hand down the thigh, stick that left hip out, open up the chest towards that left corner of the ceiling. If that feels good, maybe take that left arm overhead. Ring out the wrist of the left, I'm a little bit out of frame. Return through center and switch your feet. So now I'm gonna cross the left over the right, kick that right hip back and out. So I'm really trying to like push it towards that right side. I'm gonna slide down the thigh to support myself. And then I'm gonna reach that right arm up and ring out the wrist of the right. Come back through center. Good. Clasp the hands behind the back. Open the chest. Drop the chin. Fold your way forward. Let the head hang here. Bend the elbows. Place that wrist and fist outside the left thigh. Return up and do it to the other side. Return up. Release and roll your way to stand. Good. Stretching our, our back leg. I'm going to bring the knee into the chest. Just take a moment, pull that knee in. Good. Then we're gonna take that thigh, cross it over and sit into the figure four. Now, if that feels good, maybe I take the hand of the left over to that right knee and I open up on the right. But return through center, we'll switch our sides. Crossing it over, sitting low. Maybe I take the hand and I open out. Yeah. One more big breath, rise it up. Roll those shoulders out. That's all she wrote, my friends. Awesome job. Questions stick around, otherwise, that's it. I'll see you next Monday for more of the firm that is Mondays with Mandy.